Another wonderfully eclectic mix of cars is here at Living Hill in Kent for the Retro Rallycross Championship. Everything from Minis, Escort Mark IIs through to Blancia Stratos and BMW E30 shaped 325Is. Gary Simpson, the man that was quickest in Q1 and Q2, but Phil Collard in his Renault 5 Turbo topped the times in Q3. And so the grid is set for the final. Gary Simpson's BMW Championship leader in Super Retro Rallycross on pole. Lining up with him at the front of the grid, John Cross and Phil Collard on the outside. Brian Hardman's escort shares the second row with Ray Morgan. Mark II and Mark III escorts there from Steve Cousins, Simon Hart and Terry Moore's Mini. One or two missing off the grid, sadly. Paul Smith, therefore, gets in as a reserve. Race underway. Slow start by Simpson. Great start by the Stratos. John Cross leads onto the loose. No joke elapse in retro rallycross. They didn't exist in period, nor should they do now, say the retro rallycross movement. And there, Phil Collard's charismatic Renault 5 Turbo in Renault colours, of course, goes wide and lets Gary Simpson come through on the inside line as John Cross leads to the devil's elbow. Ray Morgan in the Mark III Escort, great to have him back in the championship. Goes third look, pounces ahead of Phil Collard on the run up the hill. There is Gary Simpson's BMW, championship leader in the Super Retro Rallycross category. The Retro Rallycross class leader, Steve Cousins, with the X Danrook Citroen AX further back in the pack. But right now, John Cross showing what we've always kind of expected the Stratos to deliver, and that is sheer pace. through they come across the loose section of the circuit once again here and looking really strong Phil Collard goes through As the cars accelerate their way down now towards the loose that takes you around the Chesson's Drift section to the Dover Slope tarmac to the Devil's Elbow sharp left hander Brian Hardman's Escort Mark II heads up the hill and again Escort Mark IIs were what was really the, the base foundation of Rallycross in the 80s they've got a problem for cross though the Stratos slows coming out of the hairpin and John Cross is limping towards the paddock and retirement. Big, big problems for him. So John Cross is out of the race. Really disappointing that because the car yet again is full of show but no go seemingly. It looked great, it sounds great, it's so evocative but it just has not yet been a winner and again something mechanical slows it and so Gary Simpson now comes under attack from Ray Morgan BMW versus Ford Escort as they head up the hill there is Paul Smith a Volkswagen technician with the G40 shaped polo but the Mark III Escort that takes you back to the days of Martin Chanka and John Welch with their X-Track four-wheel drive versions this is of course a two-wheel drive rear-wheel drive version but Ray Morgan is hustling on in pursuit of the BMW. Gary Simpson, the former Armed Forces man, comes out of the chicane with Phil Collard in third in the five turbo. Now, what can he do about getting himself back up into contention with the two ahead? Seemingly, the gap is too great as they come across the loose now. So Gary Simpson looking good for honours. Ray Morgan is chasing, 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 but is he going to be able to get near enough or force a mistake out of Simpson? Seemingly the answer is no, and it looks like Gary is on target then for another victory. Morgan's got a problem now. Ray Morgan slows on the last lap. Simon Hart in the John Taylor lookalike Ford Escort. The Henza Mainstone car is going to go through, and so that is a real drama for Morgan. Brian Hardman's Mark II Escort buys a place. So it's going to be BMW, Renault, Ford at the end of the race. And Gary Simpson is on target for the race win. There is the chequered flag. Gary Simpson wins. Second is Phil Collard. And Brian Hardman's yellow escort is third. So confirmation of the results. It is honours then for Gary Simpson. Coming home behind him, Phil Collard and Brian Hardman. Simon Hart and Paul Smith, the only other finishers. Steve Cousins leads Retro Rallycross in the championship from Simon Hart and Paul Smith. In Super Retro, Gary Simpson is 25 points up on John Cross.